Hi, it's Sterling Owen, Bay Oven Recipes. Today, I'm going to be cooking up a fresh homemade pizza in the New Wave Primo Grill Oven so we can see how it does grilling up a pizza at home. And we're going to get started with that right now. All right, so what I have here for my ingredients, I have a two pound dough ball. I'm only going to use half of it, so I'm going to cut it in half. I made that in my bread machine. I've got some shredded mozzarella cheese, and this is going to be a pepperoni pizza. So I got my pizza sauce and some pepperonis there. And so what you're going to see me do, first I'm just going to flour down this uh, rolling pad. And then after I flour it down, I'm going to cut the dough ball in half. After I cut it in half, I'm going to roll it out. You know, some of you want to, you know, you can press it out with your hands. I like to use a rolling pin, so I'm going to roll it out. That's the way I like it. Then I'm going to put on my pizza sauce and then I'm going to put on my cheese, then I'm going to put on my pepperonis, and then we'll get started with the process of actually cooking this in a New Wave Primo grill oven. Alright, just cutting this dough ball in half. I'm going to get things rolled out. Alright, so I got this dough pressed out some. I'm going to go ahead and get my pizza sauce my cheese and my pepperoni topping on. Someone asked once uh, what type of pizza sauce I use. I use uh, basically the what's on sale brand. <laughs> Whatever pizza sauce is on sale is probably what I'll get. I uh, haven't taken my hand to making my own sauce yet, although I respect you who are at that point in your pizza cooking skills. I hear it's not very difficult to do, it's just not something I've jumped into yet and uh, so I just grab it from the can at this point. Alright, so we've got the pepperonis on there, we've got the cheese, we've got the toppings and all that good stuff. I'm gonna get the lid off my New Way Primo grill oven. I'm only going to use the uh, basically the tools that come with the cooker. I'm just going to be using the grill plate itself. I'm not going to be using any pizza stone or anything additional. I'm just going to use what comes with it and that's all. Just going to get some flour on my PLR. I probably could just lift this thing over kind of easily and slide it over but I'm just going to try and peel it on, to, we'll put it on the peel and then kind of slide it over. Might be a little easier. And really I should have, I should have built this pizza on the pizza peel itself. That's really where I should have gone with this to make it easier. So I'm going to have to reform things a little bit since I didn't make the pizza on my peel like I should have. Alright, let's see how easily I can get it onto the grill plate from off my pizza peel. Alright, it wasn't too hard. Slide, slid off pretty nice. Just get some of this corrected here. So well, that's good. That's pretty decent. We'll just leave it like it is here. Make a little mess there. Spreading out my pepperonis. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on like this. So we've got the lid on our New Wave Primo, and going to turn the New Wave Primo grill oven on. And we're going to go all the way up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to hit the top bottom button. I'm going to put the focus on the bottom. 70% top bottom, 30% no, 70% bottom, 30% top. Time. I'm going to leave the default uh, 15 minutes. I'm not sure how long it'll take, but we'll keep an eye on this, and I'll bring you back. And I'm going to start now.
All right, so we're eight minutes into this pizza cook. I'm starting to see a good bit of smoke coming from the vent holes. I'm gonna let it keep going because it's almost done. But this is the prescribed setting from uh, the folks at New Wave to use 30% top, 70% bottom for a pizza cook. So, you know, you want to get your bottom crust, uh, you know, nice and crunchy. So I don't want to, you know, go over on the top too hard. But it looks like we are seeing maybe a little similar to what we saw with a frozen pizza with the crust. Maybe it's getting a little too cooked on the bottom than on the top. And, uh, all the same, it looks like we're almost done. I think I'm gonna stop it once it gets to a full 10 minute cook. You know, just to have done 10 even minutes at 400 degrees, 70 on the bottom, 30% on the top. But we're getting a good bit of a, a smoke action coming out. So we're gonna see what happens with this here, but it looks like it's about, about done. I think we're looking good for, uh, you know, you can do nine or 10 minutes with the 400 degree setting and I think you'll come out okay. I don't think, uh, Lord willing, I don't have any really bad smoke issues. I think I'm gonna stop it just because we're seeing so much. I like that those pepperonis to pucker a little bit more as far as them getting nice and crisp. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop though. I'm starting to smell some burnt action going on. So I'm gonna stop it here. We went about nine minutes. But I'm starting to smell some burn and I'm seeing smoke coming out pretty hard. So there's our, uh, basically our grilled pizza. All right, so I'm gonna get this pizza off the grill plate. The bottom is feeling uh, pretty hard. So here you have your finished pizza from the New Way Primo grill oven. Underneath is uh, Pretty well grilled. You see some grill mark there. Pretty hot. <laughs> Pretty hot touching that bottom. Uh, so you do have to be careful of that, but I knew that going in when I touched it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this pizza up now. All right, gonna get a slice plated here. We'll get the camera moved. We'll do a taste test of this pepperoni pizza from the New Wave Primo Grill Oven. All right, so let's taste test. Here under the bottom, you see the bottom. It's uh, got a nice crispness to the bottom. Okay, so the pizza, the end result turns out good, but here's some things to uh, consider. After I turned the camera off to move things for the taste test, my smoke alarms went into a warning mode. They didn't actually alarm, but they went into a warning mode noticing there was smoke in the house. So, you know, it wasn't enough smoke to set them off. Maybe if I'd gone full 10 minutes, maybe it would have. But there's a concern here with the New Age Primo and smoke on pizzas. Nothing else. I've never had smoke issues with bacon or anything else I've cooked. No smoke issues, but there's a smoke issue with pizza because of it cooking the dough bottom. Now, New Wave recommends 400 degrees, 70% on the bottom, 30% on the top, which is what I did in this pizza cook for fresh pizza. That's what they recommend. Got a good bit of smoke. When I did a frozen pizza, I did the same thing. Got a good bit of smoke. Yeah, I mean, some people might think, well, you can do a different setting or adjustment with the top and bottom heating elements. No, I'm not buying that. Personally, I want to get my bottom crisp. I should be able to do it at 70% bottom and the cooker handle the smoke. Handle the smoke. And it's not doing that with pizzas, which is a concern. So that's something to uh, consider with pizzas in the New Wave Primo grill oven. You can try your own combination and see what you get but that's just my experience. I mean, it's like you can cook a pizza in it, but you're gonna get your house kind of smoky. It's not like bacon in a new way. Bravo, it's not that bad, but still you get a bit of smoke. And so that's something to consider there, but the pizza turns out nice, got your nice grilled bottom. And so, you know, you may want to put your Primo near a vent or something, you know, I just put mine on the counter. The cooker should do the job. The cooker, you know, there's a lot of smokeless type grill game indoor smokeless type grill game going on right now. 
these smokers need to do their job. That's what I expect. So that's me. But you can tell me your take in the comments. Anyway, this other recipes will be at superwaveofrecipes.com. If you ever want to come to this YouTube channel, just go to waveofrecipes.com. Twitter and Instagram, Wave Oven Recipes. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, and good eating.